Hello everybody, it's Anthony Brown from Mission Talk Podcast here at TwitchCon. Um, I'm, with, I'm here with Corey uh, to talk about everything Supernova. Uh, so, Corey, explain to me in the audience at home, what is Supernova? Supernova is a sci-fi mo- MOBA RTS. Um, it's got a lot of really familiar MOBA elements, but then on top of that, there's actually some really cool RTS stuff as well. For example, being able to con- uh, pick and, to a limited extent, controlling the units that actually go out in the lane and fight for you. Um, the thing I noticed too when I was playing it earlier is that um, it's definitely a mesh of MOBA and RTS, uh, which I have not seen in any other game particularly like it. So it's interesting to see how that is meshing together. And, it, and then you would think that it would, it might become more troublesome, but actually it turns out pretty well. The You know, the cool thing about it is the developer actually recognized we don't want this game to be un- uh, inaccessible to new players. So they've actually implemented a couple of things that make things a, l- a lot easier for new players to just kind of jump into it. There is a auto build system, uh, auto deploy system rather, uh, that actually builds your units based on the units that your opponent is using against you. It just is a, a kind of a nice handicap for new players to kind of dr- jump in and uh, start learning the game. And then in addition to that, uh, they have an auto spend system for the commanders specifically, so you'll actually start leveling those too. So there's systems in game just to help you start figuring things out. Um, so the thing I think that I didn't ask you yet when I was playing the demo was that um, one of the characters I played, like a, kind of a tentacle uh, monster of sorts, uh, able to shoot out you know uh, these beams of energy from afar. Um, what other different type of characters are in the game? Other types of characters? Uh, well. Some of my favorite characters, there are ancient, forgotten, self-styled gods that were originally like super weapons built by these forgotten uh, civilizations. There are, of course, uh, mech suits, uh, giant mech suits piloted by humans that are from the Soul Confederation. We've got strange alien bounty hunters um, just looking to make a buck. And then we have still others that are like uh, gladiators from this uh, slaving civilization called the Faceless, uh, and we even have representatives of the Faceless. So there's a whole bunch of different like sci-fi tropes that are actually encapsulated as, as different characters that uh, I think are just awesome. Um, one of the things that, and, and you said it's still a development, but like uh, as far as story-wise is concerned, um, what can you tell us about the story so far with Supernova? So, like like you said, the story is still in development. Uh, We're still getting it piece by piece uh, from the developer Primal. um, But the the thing that you can actually start to see in the game already is that it seems to be a universe at war. All of these different civilizations are all competing over these th- this crazy technology, these weird blue portals that have started appearing all over the universe. And they want to control them because they allow access just across the galaxy, instantaneous teleportation. Um, that's cool. I mean, like, I think that the the, the story in, and definitely in, in MOBA and Starcraft game or in other games, um, they're definitely I don't want to say an afterthought, but like they're definitely there, but not as well developed in some other games. Um, and you know, having a story of what you told me so far, you know, sounds great for sure. Um, so uh, my next question would be that um, in terms of what exactly. Uh, it's long-term plan for Supernova. Are we going to see additional DLC characters down the road? Uh, will there be more new maps and so on? Uh, so we're going to continue to develop new characters, of course. We've already got 24 in the game. And uh, we're going to continue to develop new characters, of course. And then we have uh, 24 units in the game, 12 per faction. And that still isn't enough. There's still a lot of other things that could be done with units. So those are other things that we're going to continue to release over time. And then new maps. The thing about releasing new maps, of course we'd love to do new maps. We want to do new modes as well. We have a lot of really cool ideas. But we have to make sure that the core game is solidified and that it's it's the right the right way to do it. So that's the only reason we've mostly got 5v5 and co-op versus AI. But there's, there's other stuff coming, believe me. Awesome, awesome. So uh, my last question is uh, release date. When is Supernova out? When can people get their hands on it? We have no specific release date yet, but I encourage everyone to stay tuned on supernovagame.com and of course our Facebook. And uh, 
that will as soon as we start targeting a specific release date after we've made some changes over the next couple of months we'll start le letting out that information well, I want to say thank you again, Corey, for this interview. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to tell you guys at home uh, that we'll have more coverage of TwitchCon coming. Uh, be sure to check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash missionstartpodcast1. Also check out our website, missionstartpodcast.com. Much of TwitchCon coverage will be on there as well. So it's, only, it's day two. It's the last day of TwitchCon, but it's already going to be one hell of a day. Uh, so that's going to be it for me. Um, we'll see you guys next time.